Welcome to Discover Talent Presents, folks. In this series, what we wanna cover? So here we begin. We'll set a expectation with you, right? So what we are going to cover in this series entirely. So first, we'll add a data, okay? Then we create a dynamic name range. Third one, we will add a pivot table. How to create a pivot, okay? And then basis the which is the pivot we can create one chart as well, which is called a pivot chart. Again, we have for interactive per se, right? or maybe the filter uh, prospects we will add our slicers in it and the last but not the least how we can automate that thing okay entirely so end to end video series we are preparing in this module cool so as we spoke this is the first data set we have okay what we have we have dates we have product and we have sales amount over here cool so let me just change this to the rupee Cool. Now let a dynamic name range. Okay. So now why we are creating this dynamic name range? So basically, whenever we update any data inside this particular sheet, right, in sheet one itself, that will automatically reflect into our chart. So that's what we are creating this name range. If in case your data is in table, then there is no need to create a dynamic name range. You can directly plug in the data you can directly update the data and just refresh your pivot you will get the result okay but here is a different case altogether cool so let's create a dynamic range i'll select this entirely first i'll go into a formula section there is an option called define name i'll simply click over here and then define name here if you could see over here right let me just zoom in like this cool name range and then simply delete this here I will select a this sheet one cool so I want a one first needs to be select I will select that but before we begin this uh, entire formula I will add a function called offset over here okay and then bracket open Cool. I will say comma here 0 comma 0 comma once again count a function again bracket open sheet 1 and this particular formula we are adding again which we have did earlier Cool. So this is what we are doing it and typing it over here and bracket close. So now this formula is ready. Okay. And this particular formula only we are giving this reference to the pivot table. Cool. Now this name range has been prepared for us. Let me just show you this name range using the formula. So you can use this particular in the formula. Cool. So whenever I add is equal to name range and I press enter you can see okay this particular entire data set will be available over here cool but this is not the entire video series on that so our video series is basically to show you automatic updates of the pure table and chart cool so let's move ahead and uh, create a pure table which is our third step for creating a pure table I will just simply select from table and here I will say table range would be my this new range which is name range and new worksheet cool as soon as I type that name name range so I get I will automatically get this fields added which is date product and sales if you could see it over here right date I will just keep it in the left hand side again product in the column section and I want sales into this particular section cool now this blank is showing us because in the name range itself we have selected the below entries as well so that's the reason it's showing us on a blank yeah now what we want we want a slicers to be added but before we add a slicer we need a chart correct so chart you can simply click here you can insert a line chart okay if you need it 
or maybe simply just click on this recommended chart you will get this you know different different visualization which you can use it I will use this 3d column last one and enter it cool I don't want uh, anything data to be shown so that's what I know I'll just hide all and then simply I just place it over here now I just want a title to be added over here so that's what I know I just click on this chart title and simply just say sales amount and I don't want a grid line I'll just remove it turn on the data label so data label will be on cool so it's closed now what we have did so far so far we have just imported a chart over here this is the name range we need to import a buttons over here so basically we can import those slicers in the pure table analyze and then click on this slicer I want date and product these two filters I want it over here so I'll just simply drag it down and just simply keep it aside like this you can change the color code as well that's not an issue you can do that cool likewise let me just arrange this as well I will keep this on the top and uh, I will just simply delete this I don't want that yep so so far we have arranged this particular data set over here great we have covered so far step 4 now step 5 what we want we want to automate this cool simply just click on this option called um, just right click on the PO table okay and then there is an option called PO table options simply just click over here and then uh, ensure that you are turning this option on yeah cool here is the data option simply click on this option refresh data when file is opening okay and it's an automatic one hit ok okay this is the ok button hit ok and uh, this is what it's done now if you want to see it if in case it's an interactive or not simply just press this B button okay you can see only the B data available over here likewise I just want to see this particular, particular date so I can see that as well okay I just want to see a related data so I can see that a related data okay if in case you are not happy with this particular chart simply just go in the design section change chart style and just simply select this chart okay and then okay cool and if in case you want to change the label you can change that as well or maybe here there are ample amount of options I'll just select this now what I want I want entire two values to be shown so I've just selected this particular option clear filter and then I can see it over here entire entries over here now when we say append a new entries at the back end okay suppose I want to add a data over here okay and uh, I will say B and here I will say 800 okay 800 I have added and if you could see over here at sheet 1 itself okay this data is not really showing why the reason behind is we haven't did a refresh at all so when I click on this refresh button you can see that data however intent over here is whenever we close this worksheet okay and when we come to the next day in the office or maybe the same day in the office when we open up this particular file we want a updated file we don't want to use this refresh button again and again okay ensure that what we can do suppose I will add a 07 over here yeah and I'll say simply a over here and I'll say 600 cool likewise if you could see over here data is not really showing cool let me just save this document somewhere book 4 and save it and I will close this particular file cool I will go over here again I'll click here book 4 you see this 7 data is automatically appended over here cool so this is how it's a very beautiful function uh, with defined range 
you can automate your task there is no need to convert all, raw data into a table first thing second thing there is no need to click on refresh all again and again simply you can do that so this is how you can create your automatic update of the pure table and chart i hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching